Middle Persian also known as Pahlavi or Parsic, Parsig, is the Middle Iranian language or ethnolect of southwestern Iran that during the Sasanian Empire 224 became a prestige dialect and so came to be spoken in other regions of the empire as well. Middle Persian is classified as a Western Iranian language. It descends from Old Persian and is the linguistic ancestor of modern Persian. Traces of Middle Persian, or Parsic, are found in remnants of Sasanian inscriptions and Egyptian papyri, coins and seals, fragments of Manichaean writings, and treatises and Zoroastrian books from the Sasanian era, as well as in the post-Sasanian Zoroastrian variant of the language sometimes known as Pahlavi, which originally referred to the Pahlavi scripts, and that was also the preferred writing system for several other Middle Iranian languages. Aside from the Aramaic alphabet-derived Pahlavi script, Zoroastrian Middle Persian was occasionally also written in Pazend, a system derived from the Avestan alphabet that, unlike Pahlavi, indicated vowels and did not employ logograms. Manichaean Middle Persian texts were written in the Manichaean alphabet, which also derives from Aramaic but in an Eastern Iranian form via the Sogdian alphabet. Name. Topic. Middle Iranian is the name given to middle stage of development of the numerous Iranian languages and dialects. The middle stage of Iranian languages begins around 450 BCE and ends around 650 CE. One of those Middle Iranian languages is Middle Persian, i.e. the middle stage of the language of the Persians, and Iranian peoples of Persia proper, which lies in the southwestern highlands on the border with Babylonia. The Persians called their language Parsic, meaning Persian. Another Middle Iranian language was Parthian, i.e. the language of the northwestern Iranian peoples of Parthia proper, which lies along the southern, southeastern edge of the Caspian Sea and is adjacent to the boundary between western and eastern Iranian languages. The Parthians called their language Parthawic, meaning Parthian. Via regular sound changes Parthawic became Pahlavic, from which the word Pahlavi eventually evolved. The ik in Parsic and Parthawic was a regular Middle Iranian appurtenant suffix for pertaining to. The new Persian equivalent of ik is i. When the Arsacids who were Parthians came to power in the 3rd century BCE, they inherited the use of written Greek from the successors of Alexander the Great as the language of government. Under the cultural influence of the Greeks Hellenization, some Middle Iranian languages, such as Bactrian, also had begun to be written in Greek script. But yet other Middle Iranian languages began to be written in a script derived from Aramaic. This occurred primarily because written Aramaic had previously been the written language of government of the former Achaemenids, and the government scribes had carried that practice all over the empire. This practice had led to others adopting Imperial Aramaic as the language of communications, both between Iranians and non-Iranians, as well as between Iranians. The transition from Imperial Aramaic to Middle Iranian took place very slowly, with a slow increase of more and more Iranian words so that Aramaic with Iranian elements gradually changed into Iranian with Aramaic elements. Under Arsacid hegemony, this Aramaic-derived writing system for Iranian languages came to be associated with the Parthians in particular it may have originated in the Parthian chancelleries, and thus the writing system came to be called Pahlavi Parthian, too. Aside from Parthian, Aramaic-derived writing was adopted for at least four other Middle Iranian languages, one of which was Middle Persian. In the 3rd century CE, the Parthian Arsacids were overthrown by the Sassanids, who were natives of the southwest and thus spoke Middle Persian as their native language. Under Sassanid hegemony, the Middle Persian language became a prestige dialect and thus also came to be used by non-Persian Iranians. In the 7th century, the Sassanids were overthrown by the Arabs. Under Arab influence, Iranian languages began be written in Arabic script adapted to Iranian phonology, while Middle Persian began to rapidly evolve into New Persian and the name Parsic became Arabicized Farsi. Not all Iranians were comfortable with these Arabic-influence developments, in particular, members of the literate elite, which in Sassanid times consisted primarily of Zoroastrian priests. Those former elites vigorously rejected what they perceived as un-Iranian and continued to use the Old language, i.e., Middle Persian, and Aramaic derived writing system. In time, the name of the writing system, Pahlavi Parthian, began to be applied to the old Middle Persian language as well, thus distinguishing it from the new language, Farsi. Consequently, Pahlavi 
came to denote the particularly Zoroastrian, exclusively written, late form of Middle Persian. Since almost all surviving Middle Persian literature is in this particular late form of exclusively written Zoroastrian Middle Persian, in popular imagination the term, Pahlavi became synonymous with Middle Persian itself. The ISO 639 language code for Middle Persian is PAL, which reflects the post-Sasanian era use of the term Pahlavi to refer to the language and not only the script. Transition from Old Persian In the classification of the Iranian languages, the Middle Period includes those languages which were common in Iran from the fall of the Achaemenid Empire in the 4th century BCE up to the fall of the Sasanian Empire in the 7th century CE. The most important and distinct development in the structure of Iranian languages of this period is the transformation from the synthetic form of the Old Period Old Persian and Avestan to an analytic form. Nouns, pronouns, and adjectives lost their case inflections. Prepositions were used to indicate the different roles of words. Many tenses began to be formed from a composite form. Topic. Transition to New Persian Topic. The modern-day descendant of Middle Persian is New Persian. The changes between Late Middle and Early New Persian were very gradual, and in the 10th-11th centuries, Middle Persian texts were still intelligible to speakers of Early New Persian. However, there are definite differences that had taken place already by the 10th century. Sound changes, such as the dropping of unstressed initial vowels, the apenthesis of vowels in initial consonant clusters, the loss of G when word final, Change of initial W to either B or GWG. Changes in the verbal system, notably the loss of distinctive subjunctive and optative forms, and the increasing use of verbal prefixes to express verbal moods. Changes in the vocabulary, particularly the establishment of a superstratum or adstratum of Arabic loanwords replacing many Aramaic loans and native terms. The substitution of Arabic script for Pahlavi script. Topic. Surviving literature Topic. Pahlavi Middle Persian is the language of quite a large body of literature which details the traditions and prescriptions of Zoroastrianism, which was the state religion of Sasanian Iran 224 to c. 650 before the Muslim conquest of Persia. The earliest texts in Zoroastrian Middle Persian were probably written down in late Sasanian times 6th, 7th centuries, although they represent the codification of earlier oral tradition. However, most texts, including the translated versions of the Zoroastrian canon, date from the 9th to the 11th century, when Middle Persian had long ceased to be a spoken language, so they reflect the state of affairs in living Middle Persian only indirectly. The surviving manuscripts are usually 14th century copies. Other, less abundantly attested varieties are Manichaean Middle Persian, used for a sizable amount of Manichaean religious writings, including many theological texts, homilies and hymns 3rd, 9th, possibly 13th century, and the Middle Persian of the Church of the East, evidenced in the Pahlavi Psalter 7th century. These were used until the beginning of the second millennium in many places in Central Asia, including Turpan and even localities in South India. All three differ minimally from one another and indeed the less ambiguous and archizing scripts of the latter two have helped to elucidate some aspects of the Sasanian era pronunciation of the former. Samples <laughs> 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 Below is transcription and translation of the first page of the facsimile known as Book of Arta Varaf, originally written in a Pahlavi script. Pad nam i yazdan Edan goen ku eu bar Allah zardust den i padorift andar gihan rawig bikard, ta bawandija i sesid sal den andar abezaja ud martam andar abe gumana budhen, ud pa gazistag ganagmanag i druan guman kardan i martaman pad n den re and gazistag asterisk alak, sander i asterisk haromeag i musreag manizan yab, anenid asterisk ud pad garan sezd ud asterisk nibbard ud asterisk wizag o aran sar asterisk 
Ust Frested, U.S. Oi Iran Daibd Ozad Ud Dar Ud Zwadeya Wisuft Ud Awiran Card, Ud N Den Chayan Hamag Abestag Ud Zand I Abar Ga Postia I Warastag Pad Ab I Zar Nabistag Andar Staxer I Pabagan Pad Diz I Asterisk Nibis Nihad Estad Oi Pecharig I Wad Baxt I Alam Gamma I Druwand I Anag Carter Asterisk Alexander I Haromaig I Mu Zareig Manizan Abar Award Ud B Soxed in the name of God. Thus they have said that once the righteous Zoroaster accepted a religion, he established it in the world. After, within the period of 300 years, the religion remained in holiness and the people were in peace and without any doubt. But then, the sinful, corrupt and deceitful spirit, in order to cause people doubt this religion, illusioned, led astray that Alexander the Roman, resident of Egypt, and sent him to Iran with much anger and violence. He murdered the ruler of Iran and ruined court, and the religion, as all the Avesta and Zand which were written on the ox hide and decorated with water of gold, gold leaves, and had been placed, kept in stacker of papak in the citadel of the writings. That wretched, ill-fated, heretic, evil, sinful Alexander, the Roman, who was dwelling in Egypt, and he burned them up. Topic. Poetry Topic. A sample Middle Persian poem from manuscript of Jamasp Asana Topic. Other sample texts Topic. Sabur Sahan Sa I Hormizdan Hamag Kiswaragan Pad Pekarazan Yazdan Ahang Kard Ud Hamag Gawazan O Uskar Ud Wizoyazan A Word Pa As Bakstan I Bad Pad Gawazan I Pasaxta Bag Hamag Oisan Jud Sardagan Ud Nask Osmerdan Is I Jud Ristagan N Is Guft Ku Nun Ka Man Den Pad Sti Den Did Kas Is Ag Dena B Ne Hilam Wes Abar Tuxag Tuxam Ud Ham Ganag Kard Shapur, the king of kings, son of Hormizd, induced all countrymen to orient themselves to God by disputation, and put forth all oral traditions for consideration and examination. After the triumph of Adurbad, through his declaration put to trial by ordeal in disputation with all those sectaries and heretics who recognized studied the Nasks, he made the following statement, Now that we have gained an insight into the religion in the worldly existence, we shall not tolerate anyone of false religion, and we shall be more zealous. Andar Zwadeya Sabur i Ormazdan Tazigan Mad Hend Yusan Zurig i Rudbar Grift was Sal Pad Zwar Tazizan Dasti Sabur o Zwadeya Mad Oisan Tazigan Spokst Ud Sar Azi Stad Ud was Sa Tazigan Abaxand Ud was Marija. During the rulership of Shapur, the son of Hormizd, the Arabs came, they took Zurig Rudbar, for many years with contempt they rushed until Shapur came to rulership, he destroyed the Arabs and took the land and destroyed many Arab rulers and pulled out many number of shoulders. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Topic. Affixes Topic. There are a number of affixes in Middle Persian that did not survive into modern Persian. Topic. Location suffixes Topic. Topic. Comparison of Middle Persian and Modern Persian vocabulary Topic. There are a number of phonological differences between Middle Persian and New Persian. The long vowels of Middle Persian did not survive in many present-day dialects. Also, initial consonant clusters were very common in Middle Persian e.g. spas spas. Thanks. However, New Persian does not allow initial consonant clusters, whereas final consonant clusters are common e.g. asb asb horse. One since many long vowels of Middle Persian did not survive, a number of homophones were created in New Persian. For example, sur and esser, meaning milk, and lion, respectively, are now both pronounced sir. In this case, the correct pronunciation has been preserved in Kurdish and Tajiki. Topic. Middle Persian loanwords in other languages Topic. There is a number of Persian loanwords in English, many of which can be traced to Middle Persian. The lexicon of Classical Arabic also contains many borrowings from Middle Persian. 
In such borrowings Iranian consonants that sound foreign to Arabic, G, C, P, and Z, have been replaced by Q, K, J, S, F, B, and S, Z. Here is a parallel word list of such terms. Topic. Comparison of Middle Persian and Modern Persian names Topic. Topic. See also Topic. Avestan Old Persian Parthian language Persian language Persian language hashtag history Middle Persian literature Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Lessons in Pahlavi Pazend by S. D. Baruchi and E. S. D. Barucha, 1908, at the Internet Archive, Part One and Two. Middle Persian texts on Titus. Scholar Raham Ash's website, including many Middle Persian texts in original and translation An organization promoting the revival of Middle Persian as a literary and spoken language contains a grammar and lessons Edward Thomas 1868. Early Sasanian inscriptions, seals and coins. Trubner. p. 137. Retrieved 5 July 2011.